All right. Now we're in for a real treat. Um, many of you have met Dr. Yamaguchi, and um, he uh, is really um, something that's uh, one of those miracles that Stephen used to talk about. Um, so he studied at the University of California, Berkeley, and he has headed the System Dynamics Group at Doshisha Business School at Doshisha University in Kyoto, Japan. He presented his macroeconomic model to a plenary session at the System Dynamics International Conference in Seoul, Korea in 2010, being attended by more than 300 researchers. It was so well received that on July 25th, the same international conference asked him to speak on this matter again at their meeting in Washington, D.C. And at that same time, we arranged a uh, congressional briefing at, with Congressman Kucinich's office on the bill, and that was well attended as well. He has continued to refine his highly advanced system dynamics modelling to project how HR 2990, the Need Act, will achieve monetary reform. He concluded it will pay off the US national debt as it comes due, provide the funding for infrastructure, which solves the unemployment problem, and does this without inflation. Please welcome Dr. Karu Yamaguchi. Thank you. Hello. 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 Yeah. Okay, may I start now? Can you see me? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me start. Uh, let me start with uh, this full screen yes. first of all let's change that computer is connected on two ends because you can you can see my screen no. yes really no. small okay can you guys switch the... No, the screen is large. Our screen. No, but there's two screens. He's got small? a small Yes. Oh, okay, I see. Well, maybe you can put it small. Yeah. Well, that's what you can do. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm now uh, giving uh, this talk from uh, Paris. I arrived in Paris last. I have the artist. <laughs> and that's right. So uh, I I try to my best to uh, present the uh, uh, the uh, uh, conference. First of all, uh, I would like to present my paper to the memory of uh, Stefan Darenka. The so this is a photo uh, I took with him at my first uh, my military conference, which was uh, held in 2010, the sixth annual MR conference. At that time, I uh, presented my show model of Liquidation of government debt and uh, debt money system. And to my surprise, uh, the, my model received the American AFI Award of Advance of Military Science and Diploma Award. And that award gave me a very good incentive to continue my simulation modeling of the American Study Act. As a, as a matter of fact, next year, I completed the uh, Monetary Act under the type of working of a system of both macroeconomies. Uh, Stefan invited me to present my simulation result at the U.S. Congressional Briefing organized by the Congressman Dennis Sheech. So this is a photo taken on July 26, 2011 at Washington, D.C. 
And this is also a photo taken in front of Congressman Kushimichi's uh, office in Washington, D.C. So in this way, Stefan Darenka encouraged my research on monetary reform. Without his uh, guidance and uh, encouragement, I could not uh, finish my monetary reform situation for them. So in that sense, I carry all lot of my work to Stefan Darenga and the conference. So I would like to express my deep condolence to him and his family. So this year's paper was totally dedicated to the memory of Stefan Darenga. So uh, this year is the this presentation of my research. And this time, I would like to turn my concept of public money into the public public money. It's a new research uh, which is done uh, last one year. So this could be the new way of uh, moving our monetary focus into the yeah, so-called blockchain revolution age. So in that sense, I'd like to start my search at the year of 2008. This could be a kind of turning point in history. First of all, we had the so-called financial crisis in 2008. Two months before the crisis caused by Iman uh, Brothers' uh, corruption, uh, corrupt, and presented the uh, paper which showed the uh, uh, told new way of modeling macroeconomic theory. Uh, 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 it is based on the so called accounting system dynamics method. That is a measure of account system, that is account and system dynamics, which is the same as the financial inflation. So, I uh, became the, uh, uh, the turning point of my macroeconomic relation models. So, so, that's the first uh, paper. Then, at the same time, in the same year, the another paper. Then we can discuss later. That is about the Bitcoin. So let me first with my uh, uh, um, economic modeling uh, simulation first. Okay. We, by year 2008, so far we had two great depressions. First, uh, uh, great depression was called in 1929, then second one was called in 2008. And after the first recitation, several proposals are, are presented by economists to abort this recitation. The first, most, most important uh, recommendation was by the so called Chicago Plan, uh, Arvin Fisher, 100% market. But this proposal has been totally uh, neglected or take taboo in the economics. The second proposal was made by John Maynard Keynes General Theory or the Keynes Macroeconomics. Unfortunately, uh, those risks are totally ignored towards the end of the last century and no classical economics will survive. Then we had the second great pressure in 2008. That was the situation uh, uh, of this research. And we we call it that uh, those two depressions are called by that so called debt money system. Okay. And so far, fortunately, economists fail to then the theory to overcome this economic uh, crisis. That was the current situation in economics. Then I ask what caused Great Depression in 1989 and 2008 are the caused by the pilot failure or the failure of the monetary and uh, uh, fiscal policies. 
Ora avec corps par un système de l'arrivée. If those are crashes are caused by health failure, so that means all we have to do is to improve our monetary and financial policy. So that, that means our health system is working well. So that's wrong with the design of airplane itself. But I thought that was a long analysis. So what I found is this causes this crash is a system design failure. So to overcome this one, we need a new uh, system design of airplane. So that is my uh, uh, design of our system. So that is how I analyze the great impressions. Then the, to be more specific, there are four design failures under the current design system. The first failure is the system continues to create the instability of money stock and financial instability. The second one is this system continues to accumulate permanent debt. The third failure is this system continues to increase income inequality. And the first failure is that this system continues to uh, disrupt our environment. So because of those four system failures, we have to uh, provide alternative system design. That was the result of my uh, research. Then I started using a new economic uh, method of accounting system dynamics. And I tried to uh, combine the lesson after the bridge show. First lesson, uh, first lesson by Keynes is the clinical analysis. The second one is the ambitious uh, 100% money of uh, American Monetary Act uh, proposal. When I tried to combine those two uh, lessons from the first great lesson uh, to come up with the my macroeconomic model of money and the macroeconomic dynamics. So this study that I have already uh, presented at this point. So, I call this new system public system instead of debt money system. Then what is the public money system? So, it consists of three features, which is the same as American Monetary Act features. The first one is, instead of the uh, money being created by private set banks, public money administration issue money. So that's the first feature. The second feature is if we are fish uh, fraction of the banking and uh, restore the 100% of the So that second feature. Third feature is money should be created uh, to increase public utility for the economic growth and public welfare. So those are the main features of the uh, public my systems. And after the, the publication of the book, the few years ago, I published uh, a Japanese book called the Public Money. So after that a Japanese book, I more specifically proposed the structure of public money administration. So public money administration, which issued public money, should be under the guidance of the diet or the Congress or the Parliament. So in this way, the public money administration uh, becomes independent of any political uh, influences. And simultaneously, Central Bank or Bank of Japan is uh, dissolved and transferred uh, into the so-called public company world. So this is the uh, uh, structure we are uh, I propose Japanese book of public money. So the idea of public money system is very, very simple. First of all, we uh, have to start with a new system structure, which is already discussed. Under this new system structures, we now are going to uh, have a new system behavior. 
that system can be attained with mental stability, financial stability, and state employment, and debt be government budget, and income equality, and hopefully environmental sustainability. So those uh, good system behaviors are caused by uh, is, uh, uh, system structures based on the public market. So that's the basic idea of how uh, uh, we can attain the new systems. Okay. So these are the that we, I have already discussed at this conference. So to summarize what I have done, is uh, uh, very simple. So this is a classification of fine table, which is the plate for the software. So usually, we might have to be uh, classified into public money uh, and debt money. So that's a space classification. Under this classification, then money have to be the legal tender. Or sometimes money, uh, something is just uh, used as money. That means uh, uh, the, it could be the functional money. For instance, the voice cannot be the uh, legal tender. It functions as if it is money. So this is the way I uh, classify the money so far. So this is the classification until the year 2008. OK. So then this is the, the uh, very something of what I have done uh, up to this, up to, uh, last year. Then uh, in the 2008, we have the second paper which is uh, produced by the unknown author of Tatoshi Nakamoto and the title of it for the appear here electronic cash system. Okay. So, uh, so this triggers the kind uh, of treatment, the impact of um, the, our the history. And uh, now we call it, uh, instead of uh, Bitcoin, we call it uh, block, blockchain revolutions. Because uh, Bitcoin just one example of blind blockchain technology. So what is the blockchain technology? This can be briefly summarized into four features. It is a peer-to-peer -peer network transaction system, uh, and we have to use a public transaction ledger. Then those ledger have to be verified uh, as a decentralized uh, network system, so-called blockchain. That transaction system attains a very true and secure uh, method. So, so blockchain position has those features. But as long as we apply this blockchain evolution on the current debt money system, that means the, this blockchain can attain the efficient because it's in, uh, built on the uh, design feature of debt money system. So that means all Bitcoin applications are in a sense uh, patchwork. So that is uh, um, my view to understand the blockchain evolution. To be more uh, specific, blockchain uh, design has two serious areas when we, we try to apply it to the uh, money system. First point is that Bitcoin has a fixed supply of 21 million coin, uh, coins. So by the end of 2140. So that means if this is it, so it, amount, it, it uh, supply amount is fixed, so similar to the uh, old standard. So this is a very serious failure uh, of Bitcoin. Because of this uh, limitation of the uh, total amount of supply, Bitcoin causes uh, volatility of value. So this is the value uh, of Bitcoin uh, from the uh, starting point of 2009 to the current uh, uh, year. So it's been uh, fluctuated. As a matter of fact, 
Okay, this is the last code of the fluctuation of Bitcoin values. Then, as you know, the, this is the latest fluctuation uh, 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 of Bitcoin. If Bitcoin value continues to hit almost close to 5,000 dollars. Very, very uh, rapid uh, increase in value, but recently to the, uh, the uh, Chinese uh, constraint being the declared bit. So this uh, the value of Bitcoin continues to fluctuate. So that is the best fake of Bitcoin design. So because of do those things, we many people say uh, that Bitcoin could be the, the uh, alternative to the current monetary system, but in my opinion, the, this Bitcoin is being used on the collapsing the debt money system. So that is why it can be still actually cannot be a good uh, application of blockchain technology. So that is how I analyze Bitcoin. So in, in any case, at the start in 2008, the one trend was to bring about a new monetary reform for the public money system. At the same time, the Bitcoin uh, blockchain evolution also developed. So those two developments have uh, been evolving separately. So this is what I found to be very, very uh, essential to understand the new trend. Then I tried to convert and put different uh, development into the one input system. That means I want to make public money as an electronic public money. So that's me. So that the system can be converted into the blockchain evolution. By the way, blockchain evolution tends to be a very essential revolutions uh, for the last 200 years. So it is the most uh, innovative uh, revolutionary technology. So if that is applied uh, combined with the current system, we could attain a so-called ultimate design of monetary form. So this is what I realized, and I call it uh, electronic Just bankers cut them off. I think it is in my uh, latest paper. Yeah. So actually, the idea is very simple. So electronic, electronic public money contains the feature of quick money as well as blockchain technology. So this is the uh, idea of how uh, we can promote uh, Electronic public money, so EPM system. So this is the basic idea. Public money administration issued the new electronic public money. And if that is the independent call, it can be non farmers, a citizen, a merchant. So this is how new EPM can be uh, uh, used for transactions. So, so in this way, after year 2008, we begin to have new electronic money or free currency, sometimes it's called the currency. So that means we have to be able to classify new blockchain-based money into the traditional classification money. That is uh, what this paper is done. Um, so to be more specific, electric money can be classified into four different categories, crypto coin or the Bitcoin or all other uh, currently dominant uh, Bitcoin or alternative coins under this category of crypto coin. The second category is the central bank cryptocurrency. The third category is the, the crypto token which I'll discuss a little later. So then we propose a very public money as the first category. So, so in this way, now we are having a totally new uh, money, uh, money classification. Right. So, so 
So that means under the monetary system, we have three different types of cryptocurrencies, and under the public money system, we have one in electronic money. Okay. So let me just uh, from now on uh, briefly discuss. Okay. So uh, first category crypto coin. This is a, a most uh, popular concept of crypto uh, coin. That means this is the top ten of all coins. The most popular crypto coin is Bitcoin. More than fifty percent of all market capitalization is the uh, uh, it's dominated by Bitcoin. So in addition to Bitcoin, this is the top 10 uh, coins. So this uh, ranking but attracted uh, every quarter. So this is no longer the, the top 10 coin. So that means that so far, more than 400 different uh, Bitcoins have been created and disappeared. So this is the area of the Bitcoin. So the second type is the uh, central bank cryptocurrency. Now the Bank of England, uh, Bank of Canada, or Deutsche Bank, or the Bank of Japan, and many central banks are starting to issue so-called central bank cryptocurrency. But there are some confusions about this concept. Some, type, some people say central bank digital currency and sometimes central bank cryptocurrency. So the difference is very, very uh, uh, essential. So I explain the difference uh, very precisely in my paper. You can go to that uh, paper to understand the situation. But Anyhow, this uh, central bank is very eager to catch up with uh, this blockchain technology to continue their dominance in monetary system. So, as a matter of fact, some suggest already third point. This is a, crypto, a central bank cryptocurrency produced by Federal Reserve, as this is a government cryptocurrency. Government cryptocurrencies, but. It's important to understand all central bank cryptocurrencies are under the debt money system. So this is very important thing to uh, uh, keep in mind. Okay. So this is the second type of cryptocurrency. Uh, the third type is a totally new one, which is just are coming up uh, this year. So this is uh, the new cryptocurrency, what uh, cryptocurrency produced by banks. We call it the token. So this is different from uh, crypto coins because this is a token. A token means token means just the same amount of token is converted to the same amount of cash. So that is the, that is the main feature of token. So the one the, uh, went on uh, exactly with the Santander, the, this is a Spanish big uh, commercial banks. They are going to issue the uh, bank tokens. At the same time, Japanese big uh, 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 brands, uh, Mitsubishi, so, will now experiment with uh, this crypto token, uh, uh, crypto token uh, competition. So in this way, the many commercial banks are now trying to utilize blockchain technology to, to encircle their client in their own crypto token. This is the, the same as the uh, gold rush age when many uh, commercial banks try to issue their own bank note backed by gold. 
in the uh, in the last century in the United States. The same thing is happening among the big uh, banks. As a matter of fact, so there this is a link, uh, list of 42 big banks. They are just uh, uh, form the so-called RCBC consortium. So, for instance, the big Japanese uh, bank and the Spanish banks are in this group. They are now trying to issue their own bank tokens so that then they can uh, they can insert to the client within their bank tokens. So, in this way, now new age started among the big uh, banks. But uh, those big banks are called that means systemic important financial institution. That means too big to fail. Those are the banks which are, which are bailed out during the uh, financial crisis in 2008. So I describe this uh, situation part in detail in the paper. So compared with those who are anti, what we are going to suggest is the, uh, the is true attain the public money from the current debt systems. So far, the, I thought the only way to attain this one is the, by the traditional monetary reform. But found there is another way to attain this uh, public money system through the electronic money. This is the new public money uh, system which we can attain the same monetary reform. So idea is very simple. Instead of central bank note, we can uh, issue the so-called electronic public money, which is totally backed by base money. This is the the third type of crypto token. But many banks are now trying to use token within their banking system. So that means they are totally backed by the money store. But instead, our public money crypto token is backed by base money. So that once we have this EPM token, it is 100% money. It, it is 100% uh, backed by base money. So that's the key. So uh, what we are suggesting is uh, instead is to issue this a EPM token as a part step. Then eventually, this will be uh, converted into the real EPM token. So this is how uh, we are trying to attain the monetary report by using the blockchain uh, revolution. So this is the new idea which we obtained last year. So in this way, now uh, uh, once we have this new EPM system, we have uh, EPM system or a Japanese token, a Japanese EPM or a American EPM or a Chinese EPM. In this way, there are many EPM systems of their national currency. This is the basic idea. So once we have this new system, we don't need a Bitcoin anymore. We can handle all economic transactions under the EPM system. So, so based upon this, uh, now uh, uh, we are trying to do a very small experiment in Japan. So, this is just a uh, uh, study. We are trying to uh, uh, issue the EPM tokens, the small region in Japan. They eventually try to expand it to the uh, nationwide. So, this is what we are trying to uh, do right now. So. The reason why we need this EPM token is that, as it may not be, now we talk about big financial crisis, which is bigger than the financial crisis in 2008. Many uh, experts in finance now uh, predict that we are facing a new, uh, new scale of financial crisis. Under that crisis, all cash withdrawals are just frozen. Uh, so can bond market also close. Someone called it the uh, X9 free. 
So how we can avoid next coming financial crisis? The only way to avoid this one is not buying this old as silver. Many, many people rational uh, concern of the suggesting to buy the oil to avoid this coming financial crisis. But instead, we can issue EPM tokens to avoid this financial crisis. But if we are just jumping on the new Noah's door out. It's the first step because EPM is the percent backed by base money. So it is it's ten percent money. This is the same asset. The event this will be converted into the real uh, EPM regions. So this is the basic idea of how we are going to use uh, blockchain technology to attain new monetary reform in the age of uh, blockchain evolutions. So this is the basic idea of, of uh, our paper. Okay, thank you for your Can we take some questions? Yes. Yes, okay. Yeah. I'll relay them to you. Okay. I, just download, uh, I want to limit this to 10 minutes. So, direct questions, please, no speeches. Over here, Bob. Over here. <coughs> question is about seniorage. Uh, so one of the important advantages of the uh, public money system, uh, as uh, talked about in the Need Act, is the benefits from the use of seniorage. Blockchain technology, from my understanding, uh, creates money automatically by its programming. So I'm wondering, how can we utilize the uh, benefits from seniorage uh, if we have a blockchain technology? Good question. The question is, how do we uh, get the benefit of the seniorage from creating the EPM tokens? You know, would the EPM tokens be emitted uh, initially to finance government spending, like on public works and things like that? Once, once it's a full national currency. Seniorage. I think when we have a uh, monetary form, the uh, government. The, there are no seniority anymore because well because the the money is only uh, issued under the uh, the uh, the uh, and for the public utilities and uh, whether it is used as a it is issued electronically or by papers the, the there should be no seniority. Uh, are willing to be sure. But That's what that meant. How would it be issued? How would the tokens be issued? Well, uh, that's the main, the main point of my paper. We are, there is no uh, protocol of EPM yet. So that's why we have to develop a new uh, uh, EPM because for the Bitcoin, the total amount of uh, Supply is fixed, and no one can increase the Bitcoin. So instead, EPM have to uh, uh, be increased in, in, uh, uh, in accordance with the economic growth. So, we, so that is a challenge how we can increase the monies by using the new uh, uh, product. So, no one makes suggestions. That is why we have to have a new kind of uh, interactional uh, 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 meeting to up with new protocols. Are you going to organize that? <laughs> Maybe AY should yeah. organize that for yeah. yeah. them. That attract, that attract politicians, paid people, bankers, and the fintech did. So AY could organize new Conference 
Then you can uh, ask Professor Yamaguchi, why does he think, in his experience, the banks have jumped on board with the blockchain technology? The, the question is, why do yeah. you think that the banks have jumped onto the blockchain technology? Why are they issuing these tokens? Well, the, the, now the now many bankers know that uh, their business are threatened by Bitcoin because once they but if people start using Bitcoin, that means there we know bank deposit not not deposit is at bank. So banks are eventually are losing their business model. So the only way they can survive is to control their own markets. So that's the only way they can survive. That's why they want to issue their own tokens. Uh -huh. Yeah, understood. Thank you. Yeah. All right. We have. Thank you very much, Professor uh, Dr. Yamaguchi. Um, we have to move to the next speakers now. But thank you very much. <coughs> we will uh, keep in touch with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.